And here is problem number three. Find the sum of all the numbers of the input vector. So we have as an input, a vector, which is X. And we have to get as an answer, a number, which is gonna be the sum of all the variables in this vector. So there are a lot of ways to make this. Mm, I'm going to make just two. The first one is super easy, it's just like y is equal to the sum of x. And since MATLAB has a command that makes this automatically, we are getting the answer just in one line. So this is one way to make it. Another way to make it is like an iterative process. So for example, for i equals one through the length of x, we are gonna create the answer, which is gonna be y equals to zero. And then y is gonna be y plus i. So what are we saying here is, first we say that y is zero, and then, uh, uh, wait, it has to be like this. We are adding the values of this vector, not i. So first y starts with zero, and then y is gonna become the same value y, and then adding uh, the value of the vector. So we can start with x, one, one, because we start with i, so that should be the first value of the vector. Then we are gonna add the second value for i equals two, which is gonna be the second value of the vector. And we're gonna go through that until the last value. What is the last value? Well, it, it will go from one to the length of x. So if x has four values, then it will go from one to four. And it's gonna sum from the first value of x until the last value. You're gonna go from all the values here. So that's the way we can make it. And that's it. That's the third problem.